all right guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to solve another question um about finding a moment in 2d so we have this 250 newton force that is um acting on a monkey wrench and we need to find a moment about the center of the bolt which let's call it o point o uh, we know the angle of the force to vertical is 15 degrees and let's get started so i'm going to solve this question in two different ways uh, we're going to go with the generic moment equation um, for the first uh, way of solving this which is uh, moment equals uh, r cross f and for this we need to find the uh, distance vector uh, and uh, and after that we need to find a uh, force in a vector form and we're going to find the determinant of the cross product so let's just start with the with the distance vector first so if we put our x and y in here let's have x in here and y in here so if we call this point point a uh, which is where the force is uh, applying so we'll have our oa cross f which is the 200 so we simply need to find the roa first and we are in 2d so moving from o to a we'll see that we are uh, moving 200 millimeter toward the A uh, in the positive direction of X. If we divide that by 100, we can get these in millimeters. So we'll have positive 0.2 meter for X. And if we look at Y, we'll see that we are going uh, 30 millimeter again divided by 1000 for the positive direction of A. So we have R and uh, we need to find F as well. So we have the angle of 15 degrees in here, which we can find the uh, X and Y component of the force. So this will be FX and this will be at uh, FY. So we can simply see that fx is first of all negative since it's in the opposite direction of x and the amount would be f uh, sine of 15 degree. And from the question we know that the force is 250 so we'll have 250 sine of 15 and for the fy we'll have again a negative negative amount for fy as well and it will be this time the cosine of uh, 15 degrees so f cosine of 15 and again we know f is 250 newton times cosine of 50. so now that we have all the components in a vector form for r and f all we need to do is just to find the um, cross product of the determinant so we'll have Again, determinant of um, i, j, k. First row is always the distance vector. So we have 0.2 here. We have 0 0.03 for j. There is no uh, k since we are in 2D. And for f, for the uh, x component, we have minus 250 sine of 15. And for y, we'll have minus 250 uh, I'm just gonna write it like that and we have more space so minus 250 cosine of 15 and this would be our J and for K we have 0 and there is no force in and all we need to do in here is just to find the uh, the moment so if we uh, find the I component for the moment, we'll see that there wouldn't be any I component because we have zero times point 
3 minus 0 times uh, minus 25 cosine of 15, which will be 0. Uh, it will be the same scenario for uh, y component. So we'll have a negative again, 0 times 0.2 minus 0 times uh, 0 times, sorry, 250 minus 250 sine of 15. So no J component as well, and the only thing that we have would be the Z component, which would be what we have in here. So basically 0.2 times minus 250 cosine of 15 minus uh, 0.03 times minus 250 sine of 15. And this would be the k component. So if we calculate that, we'll get for the moment uh, minus 46.4 Newton meter. And the negative sign in here shows uh, the clockwise moment. So that was the first way of answering this question. Uh, the second method, which is a kind of a shortcut and it would be faster to solve these 2D questions. Uh, let's call it a 2D shortcut or uh, a 2D method that can, saves us, uh, that can save us some time. And that would be basically we're going with the moment that we can find about point A. So for the 2D shortcut, all we need to do is uh, we're going to start at moment with, again, counterclockwise positive. And we basically, since half the vertical distance of the moment, we can find uh, uh, simplify the R cross F in here to R times F times sine of alpha and if we have r and f perpendicular the alpha which is the angle between r and f would be 90 degrees so simply the sine of that would be one and we'll have just r times f so knowing this thing is going to save us some time because as long as we have x and y component finding a vertical distance would be pretty easy. So that's why we can find the the moment like uh, in a faster way. So in here, uh, if we want to show the force at point A, we'll have this as our Fx and this will be our Fy. And for that, uh, I show that in here too. We can show it like this too. And for that, we can find the <coughs> uh, the distance very easy. So if we do that, we have, let's go with the Fx. So for the Fx, the vertical distance for Fx would be simply this distance that I'm highlighting in our red, which we know is 30, uh, 30 millimeter. And we already have fx and if we look at the moment we'll see that this force is gonna moment off uh, counterclockwise which is positive so we'll have we'll have fx so the sign is positive fx which from the previous step we know that fx is uh, that's what we have in here fx will be 250 sine of 15. We don't need to be worried about the sine because we can figure out the direction of the moment and that would be uh, the sign that we have in here. So simply we just put the magnitude of the force which is 250 sine of 
uh, 15 times the distance, which, as I was saying, would be point uh, zero 0.03 or the 30 millimeter that I was showing you here in red. So that would be the first component of the moment. We also have the Fy. And I'm going to show the moment of Fy in different color, maybe green. So this time, the, the vertical distance uh, to Fy will be the 200 millimeter that we have. And if we look at the moment, we'll see that the moment about 0 0.0 will be will be in this direction, which is in the opposite direction of the, the fx moment. And as we can see, this is clockwise, and we'll put a negative sign in here. So the fy component, again, regardless of the sign of the force, will have 250 cosine of 15, and the distance would be the 200 millimeter or the 0.2. So if we look at what we found in here using our 2D shortcut, we'll see that it's the same as what we have in here. Uh, which means uh, we can go through the uh, same moment uh, without going through the R and I mean, F is the same, but it would be a little bit easier to use this shortcut. Uh, we just have to find the X and Y component for each. So again, we'll get uh, minus 460.4 Newton meter and uh, the negative sign in here shows the, the direction uh, would be the opposite of clockwise, the opposite of counterclockwise or clockwise. So that was the final answer for this uh, kind of questions uh, using two different methods. Uh, I personally suggest to go with the second one as long as we, uh, we are mindful of the direction of moment and all the forces. See you guys next time.